been invited to go to the Tesla Plaid event. I was a little bit surprised. I got it this morning. I flew up expecting not to get in and planning to plan to hang out uh, with um, all the other people who were hoping to get in and didn't get in. So I'm here in Pacific Commons Plaza. I just had breakfast at this cafe, this bakery cafe, 85 Bakery Cafe. Um, not a big audience yet, so I'll, I'll, hey Chad, how are you doing? Can you guys, can you hear me, Chad? All right, now we have an audience. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start over. So this is Warren Redlick. I'm in Pacific Commons Plaza Mall. I'm not sure what you call this place. And um, I found out this morning a few hours ago, I got off a flight from, from uh, I flew up from Las Vegas to Oakland and I realized on the way to Fremont that I that Tesla had emailed me that I get a ticket. So I'm gonna be going into the Plaid event and uh, I'm wearing my Elon hat. This is not for sale, this is just a hat. I'm wearing my Tesla is the next Tesla t-shirt. Um, just had breakfast from this 85 degrees Taiwanese bakery. Um, I'm in this Pacific Commons Plaza. There's gonna be a group of people getting together at 2 p.m., which is about three hours from now. So I figured I would do a quick live stream and just talk a little bit about what's going on. I found out I'm going to the Plaid event that I got, well, I bump into Gary Black. Um, my joke is that Pope, the Pope of Muscanity is gonna invite me and Gary up on the stage and he's gonna ask, tell us we have to, uh, we have to make up with each other. So, um, so I found out this morning, I, was, I think I was on BART, Bay Area Rapid Transit, or maybe I was on a bus from the BART station to where I am now. And I found out I got invited to the event and I literally cried. <laughs> I think about it right now. I'm on, on the verge of tears right now. Very, very excited. Honestly expected I wasn't gonna get in. Flew up anyway, because I figured we're gonna hang out with a bunch of people. And, um, uh, you know, a bunch of Tesla fans getting together. Figured I'd hang out before the event. Figured be, people will get together after the event. I'm gonna fly home tomorrow. I, I did cry, Alex. I, I am on the edge of crying. Yeah, so, um, yeah, this bakery is amazing. I had this uh, Hokkaido, oh, it's like an egg custard uh, item. Hi, Mark, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming into the stream. Thanks everyone for watching and for chatting. Um, <laughs> Gary Morse's Warren pay-per-view. He'd kick my ass, there's no question about it. He would beat me up. Um, I'm a lover, not a fighter, and not much of a lover either. <laughs> so, um, really excited about the Plaid event. Really excited about the future of Tesla. I'm wearing my Tesla's the next Tesla t-shirt. Uh, Elon hat is not for sale. I just made this up for myself. I'm thinking about buying a bunch of them and selling them, but I don't know. Um, yeah, the car covers thing was interesting. I think the one of them might just be a Model X, but the other one, I think the other one is something special. So, um, I might live stream again around five o'clock. People are supposed to be getting together. I think people, are, I'm not ordering a plaid. I, I'm, I'm waiting for Cybertruck. Cybertruck is my vehicle. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm no longer a sports car kind of guy. The next Elon is Elon, yes. Um, I don't think it's 4680, Harry. I think it's still 1865 cells. I think there's a lot of hints that they're using GigaPress to make uh, some sections of the, some part of the chassis of the car. I think there's a really good chance of that. Anyway, so a um, couple theories. There's uh, kilowatts, 300 pound weight difference. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm heavy. So I'm not heavy, but I'm not that heavy. And I don't think he's that heavy. So the uh, kilowatts had a picture of a semi that's at the event with a big trailer on it. And the theory is that there's something inside the semi's trailer. My theory is they're going to deliver the semi. Uh, I think that's, I think there's a lot of different possibilities. I don't know if there will be a surprise. There probably will be. I'm more excited to hear Elon talk about what's special about how they're making the new Model S. Um, you know, I think it's, it seems pretty likely they're using GigaPress 
it was more than 300 pounds. I think it was 320 pound loss on the long range and 170 pounds on plaid versus performance. Um, what am I most excited about? Great question. Thank you. Um, I, I can't see who asked that. This chat's going too fast, but what I'm, I'm most excited, I, I guess the prospect of meeting Elon is a big deal to me. I think, I don't, I'm not sure I will meet him, but I would love to meet him. I'm probably like more excited about anything else is meeting all these people who are Tesla nuts like me. Um, I've never met Elon before. Um, I think there's a good chance I'll meet uh, K10, good chance I'll meet Omar. You know, I've talked to both of them um, on my on my video channel, on my channel, but to meet K10 in person, to meet Omar in person, uh, lots of other people are gonna be here starting at two o'clock, which is about three hours from now. Uh, I, didn't, I don't know if is Dave Lee gonna be here. I would love to meet up with him. Um, the chance to get together and talk with a bunch of Tesla fans who I've, I've interacted with so many people on Clubhouse and Twitter, uh, you know, kilowatts, you know, I don't know who's going to be here, but the chance to meet all these people is going to be great. Um, I'm expecting to have fun pretty much nonstop from two o'clock in the afternoon until I don't know when I'm, I'm actually not planning to sleep. I didn't get a hotel room. I figure after the event, people are going to go out and have fun and I'm going to go out and have fun. And I got a flight in the morning and I might not bother. I, I think I might stream before the event. I don't think I'm going to stream in the event. I don't think it makes sense to stream. Will I be going to strip clubs? No. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be, I would guess there's going to be some kind of after party uh, or people just going out to a bar or something like that. And I'll hang out there. Um, yeah, drunk live stream. I don't have to be drunk. I don't drink that much. I did actually, I went out with my brother last night to, uh, if you go to Las Vegas, there's a restaurant called Sushi Joe's. It's a sushi place and, and not just sushi. They have some other stuff, but wow, that was good. And we, you know, we spent over a hundred dollars for the two of us, but we had like, I had a big bottle of sake. My brother had a beer. We had, we ate more food than I would usually eat. I probably could eat there for 20 or 30 bucks and have really good sushi. Sushi Joe's. Yeah, I am wearing, I'm wearing the hat. I'm wearing the hat. I am wearing the hat like this to keep the sun off my face. That's true. Um, so, but anyway, this is great, you know, great experience, really excited to be here. I just hopped on a plane to Vegas for the adventure, and then I hopped on a plane here for the adventure. Um, really a lot of good stuff going on, really excited about the future of Tesla, really excited about the future of Boring Company. You know, that Boring Company experience was pretty memorable. The event starts at 7, well, sorry, I think the doors to the event open at 7 p.m., and why do people keep telling me to shave? Get over it. <laughs> um, the doors to the event open at 7 p.m. I believe the event is supposed to start at 8 p.m. Yes, I rode in the Boring Tunnel three or four times. Um, I shot video from all three stations. I actually saw a lot of interesting concrete stuff. It was the world of concrete. Uh, I think my probably the most interesting vendor was Concrete AI. Uh, yeah, I, I hopped on a plane. My my oldest daughter's in New York. My wife and uh, younger daughter are at home. My younger daughter probably has school today. Shaving reduces the coefficient of drag. <laughs> I don't know. Are they allowed? To, are barbers allowed to be open in California? <laughs> I don't even know if barbers are allowed to be open in California. They, I went to this place for breakfast. You know, and they, you can't sit inside. Like, are you kidding me? Bikini, there were no bikini girls at the World of Concrete. I don't have, a, I don't buy options generally. The best racer is no racer. So anyway, I, I did want to say, I, you know, while we're on, I just want to say how excited I am, how happy I am. If you just came on the stream, I just wanted to say, in case you missed it, I got invited. This morning, only a few hours ago, I saw the email that I was invited to the Tesla Plaid event. And I literally cried when I saw it. I'm, I'm emotional right now as I think about that moment. I'm excited for going. I really honestly did not expect to get in. Like it was, the email was like 7.30 in the morning and I was still on a plane when the email came. Um, I just came up here figuring I'd meet a bunch of people. I'd probably get stuck outside the event and that's okay. And I would hang out with the other people who are stuck outside the event and then get together with people before, get together with people after. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the security guard incident that mattered. Um, so very, very excited, very, very, um, really excited to see what happens. Um, really excited to see. I, I'm, 
what we know, here's something else. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bradford. Thank you, Hal, thank you, Halter Ferguson Financial. I guess I would say this. When you see an event like this, we know that there's going to be something special about Model S. Um, and of course, there's going to be something special about Plaid. So, you know, how did they get the weight down? The Model S, if you watch like a lot of modern vehicles, you know, the BMW 5 Series today is probably a couple of hundred pounds or 500 pounds heavier than the BMW 5 Series from 10 years ago. So to take a vehicle that is loaded with batteries that are heavy and to drop 320 pounds on the long... See, this is the thing. Like, people are excited about Plaid. I actually think the long-range Model S is the greatest achievement. To see... To drop 320 pounds, how did they do that? How did they manage to get that vehicle? Like, when, we, when the details come out on the long-range Model S, I think, like, Plaid is exciting, right? But that's for people who can afford a $120,000, $130,000 car. An $80,000 car is accessible by a lot more people. So... No, and Plaid is 170 pounds lighter than the previous Performance Model S. So, hey, Swisher Sweet, okay. Um, tires are filled with helium. <laughs> so, what did they do to be able to drop weight on the Model S? Um, what did they do to improve the performance What's special about the motors? What's special about the batteries? We've got, we, I believe we've got, I don't think they're going to be 4680s. I think they're 1865 cells, um, 18 millimeter diameter, 65 millimeters tall, the eight, what we used to call the 18650s. Um, they didn't remove radar, actually. So what did they do to make the Model S special? I think there's a really good chance they're using single-piece castings in the manufacturing of the Model S. And that would reduce weight, that would reduce... Because Elon said they cost less to manufacture. If you went to single-piece castings, that would help. Thank you, SS, SOS Reg, for your support. Um, reduced wiring. That's an interesting theory, Paul. I wonder if they did something advanced with the wiring. Um, oh, the, the, there's a prop near the stage showing the underside of the car. I don't know what that is. I was joking with Earl that it's, it's, the, it's the new skateboard. Because it looks kind of like a ugly old skateboard. Um... Yeah, there's a couple of vehicles that are under tarps. Which batteries are... I'm expecting that they're going to have the 1865 cells. So the old 1865 cell had maybe 260 watt-hours per kilogram. Um, the event is about... It's, it's about 11 p.m. 11 a.m. I think the event is eight hours away or less than eight hours away. Um, so I think it had 260 or 270 watt-hours per kilogram on the old battery chemistry. So I, I'm going to guess that they're up to 300 watt hours per kilogram on the new battery chemistry. And that's a big part of how they're able to do what they're doing. Because um, if you increase the battery chemist, if you improve the battery chemistry and reduce the vehicle weight, that, that allows you to reduce the vehicle weight. Um, and you get more range by reducing the vehicle weight so you can use less batteries again. So my, my you know, I kind of wondering like how many kilowatt hours are in the model s long range pack i don't i don't think coefficient of drag is a big explanation halter ferguson financial thank you again is there a traffic cop with a whistle near you should i be looking around no 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 traffic cop near me um so i should take a look check out the mountains here can you see the mountains that's pretty mountains are pretty how much better is your life or quality of life after focusing so much on Tesla and less on the daily grind? Great question. Um, I was already semi-retired. We moved here and we moved to Florida in 2011 and I <clears throat> sort of retired and then played a lot of golf and then found myself playing less and less golf and doing other things. I became an attorney in 1995 and I practiced law. I still am technically an attorney. I still have a couple cases, but I wouldn't say I had a daily grind since 2011 um i've been doing stuff for fun and finding ways to work for fun rather i mean it's some of some of it's a grind some of the some of the work as a lawyer especially was a grind and i really got tired of that but i wasn't doing that much i think probably my biggest frustration as a lawyer is i didn't have enough and without when you as a lawyer you want to do enough work that you can 
be good at what you do because you you're doing it enough that you know everything and I got to a certain point where I felt like I, I'm not doing this enough to be to be consistently good. Um, no, it wasn't billable hours. I never did billable hours in my entire career. Um, I shouldn't say that as a, as a summer intern in law, when I was in law school, I did. Do I think they'll announce the release of FSD beta tonight? One of my theories, this is only a guess, is that every Model S plaid that we deliver tonight will include version 9. But it's only a guess. I don't... That's a good idea. Will they have Model X for rides? I don't know. I'm not that excited about the ride. I'm more excited about hearing what they did. Uh, being there in person, the chance to talk to people, seeing up close and personal, hearing hearing in person from Elon what changes they made. Maybe they'll announce the subscription, Mark. That's a good thought. I don't know. Maybe they will announce that. Um, so, yeah, it's beautiful out here. I'm probably going to get a sunburn. <laughs> it's funny coming here from Florida and worrying about a sunburn. I've been sitting in the sun for a while. Maybe I should move into the shade. I don't know. I'm getting hot. I'm moving into the shade. Oh. Oh. That's a little better. Is there a link to go for the event to watch tonight online? I believe that Tesla will be live streaming it on the Tesla channel. Um, what part of Cali am I in? I'm in Fremont, California. I'm in a place called Pacific Commons. Yeah, Pacific Commons shopping center it's a plaza where a group of us will be meeting at two o'clock at a supercharger station somewhere in this plaza so i arrived in oakland airport what time will they stream i think the stream will probably start i think the stream will probably go live at seven o'clock but i'm not sure how much they're gonna be showing um i'm i'm well tesla headquarters technically i think is in palo alto california the factory's here in fremont no, no, Roman, the, the long range does not have a third motor. That's the one that dropped 320 pounds. The Plaid dropped 170 pounds, adding a third motor. So, um, yeah, I'm having a blast. I'm looking forward to meeting a whole bunch of people in person who I've talked to before. Um, I don't live in Cali, Medusa. I live in Florida, and I flew out here on the hope and prayer that I would, even if I didn't get in, I honestly didn't think I was going to get in. I will shoot interviews, I shoot videos. I will probably video some stuff inside. I don't plan to live stream while I'm inside. I don't, I don't think there's a Tesla stream link yet. I think it's just gonna be on the Tesla channel and my experience with past Tesla live streams is it, and, and SpaceX live streams is something will open and it won't be showing anything. Maybe at seven o'clock they'll show something live but more likely it really starts after eight. Do I think they will do rear and front castings on plaid? Maybe. Maybe, it, it, I think they're certainly gonna do rear and maybe they'll do front. I'm not sure. Tesla should make cool sunglasses. Other than a Cybertruck, is there a Tesla you want or plan on getting? I, I'm planning on getting a Texas Model Y in 2022. Um, I'm not gonna ask Elon to come on my channel, Declan. That's a, that's a nice thought, but I'm not gonna ask that. Not here. I actually, I wanna talk to him about Boring Company if I get a chance to talk to him about anything. Uh, David, what's going on is I was invited to go to the Plaid event. I flew out to California to be here for the event, whether I got in or not, and did. And I found out this morning that I got that I'm being. I was invited to go in, so I'm really excited about that. Um, are you ready to sing the Tesla anthem? There's an anthem. Meeting anyone of particular interest. I'm looking forward to meeting K10. I'm looking forward to meeting Omar Kazi. Uh, the list is too long. There's so many people that I've met online through Clubhouse, through Twitter, through YouTube that I'm excited to meet. I think Kim Paquette is going to be here. Um, be excited to meet her. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of overwhelmed. Uh, honestly, I'm overwhelmed. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I think Nick is going to be here. Um, I think Nick said he's here on a plus one. Isn't he getting in with somebody who's getting a plaid? He's going to be riding with them. So... <laughs> so uh had breakfast here just had breakfast here at 85 degrees bakery cafe uh a crane just drove behind you make sure yeah it is a little unnerving i've never i don't think i've ever live streamed in public like this before it's just a really quiet morning out here so uh, i don't think i don't know that i've ever done this before 
but it's quiet, you know, it's nice and quiet, so it's okay. When do, what, do, what do I think about Jeff going into space? So I think that the, the Bezos, what do you call it? It's New Shepard. I think that that's kind of lame. I mean, it's not nothing. It's kind of cool in a sense, but when you look at what Falcon 9, Falcon 9 has already delivered like 10 astronauts to the International Space Station. It's one thing to go straight up. It's another thing to reach orbital velocity. Um, there's a Plaid Model S behind you. No, there isn't, but you're trying to make me look, aren't you, Paul? <laughs> uh... He almost got me, you know. I almost looked. <laughs> Will I still be going live this Sunday like normal? I think so. Yeah, I don't see any problem for that. Did you see that the Plaid won't hit 200 miles per hour without proper wheels? I don't think... No, I didn't see that. It doesn't surprise me, bikini girl behind me. Uh, I do have a mask. Mask is required for the event. Masks are required all over the place in California. It's crazy. It's so... It's so different coming from Florida where masks are basically not required anywhere now. I did have to go in when I got, when I went into the clinic to get my rapid uh, COVID test for this event. Um, hi, Warren Raven. Um, should Elon go on the Dear Moon trip? I don't think Elon's going to go on that trip. No, I don't, I, I don't think he should go, but I do, Brian, I am hoping to come to Austin. I want to go to Giga Texas and I want to go to Starbase. I will probably do that in a couple months. Um, I think it's kind of cool that Bezos is going up on the rocket. I, I just think, you know, is it really much more than an amusement park ride? You know, okay, it goes straight up, it comes back down. What about, you know, the, the, it's all about orbital velocity. It's suborbital is the joke, right? Orbital velocity is the big deal. Oh, thank you, MT Polo. Thank you for your kind words. Um, how did I like the Vegas Tunnel? All right, let's talk about the Vegas Tunnel. So what what really excited me about the Vegas Tunnel, like, okay, people who say, oh, it's amazing, it's not an amusement park ride. You sit in a car, you ride through a tunnel. Is it a little bit cool? Yes. Is it really exciting? No. Is it practical? Hell yes. Very, very practical. Um, and then you think about how that's going to expand to 30 miles of tunnel in Las Vegas. Just this morning, I was trying to get to the airport from my hotel and Lyft fucked up, excuse my French, but Lyft messed up and my ride didn't come and I ended up having to get an Uber and I spent, I don't know, call it 20 bucks or something like that to get, it was like two miles. You know, there's taxes and everything else, but now imagine you put a tunnel. If, if they do that loop system and it connects to the airport and it connects to all these hotels and casinos and other things, imagine how how devastating that's going to be to uber and lyft and taxis and buses and all the other transportation options when you wherever you are in vegas where wherever you want to go there's a really good chance you can just go into a boring company tunnel and get whisked to where you want to go at an average speed of 40 50 miles an hour has anyone recognized me yet and violated my space? No, I don't think anyone here has recognized me yet. That happened when I was in the, when I was at the Boring Company, I was in Central Station and I was talking to a guy, thank you. Um, it's my Elon hat, this is not for sale. I might, I might, I wanted to sell these, but I haven't, I think that Elon is too big. I think I need to make the Elon smaller on the hat. So I was in the Central Station and I was, this one guy said, hey, aren't you Warren Redlick? And he's one of the Boring Company employees, and he watches. He said he watches all my videos, so that was really cool. Um, and I would say, so one of the things that was strange, they wouldn't recognize you if you shaved. What is the thing about shaving? So one of the things that I thought was really interesting, where am I right now? I am in Pacific Commons Plaza, which is in Fremont, California. A group of us are meeting here at 2 o'clock or so. Um, so the... One of the biggest challenges I think the Boring Company has, and I'm going to make a video about this later, is human behavior. I think they set up the stations. In the tunnels, human behavior is not really an issue, but at the stations, they tried to set it up in a way that pedestrians would not walk away in the, in the way of the cars except at specified locations where there are crosswalks. And humans do not seem to understand simple behavior. 
and we were at the south station. There's this, uh, what do you call it? The drill bit, whatever the thing is that's at the, at the front of the tunnel boring machine that, you know, that grinds through and, and makes the tunnel. They have this big thing displayed and we're sitting there looking at that and all of a sudden I hear this voice, this disembodied voice saying, please, you know, stay on the, in the areas marked for pedestrians. Don't walk in the roadway. Don't walk in the areas where the cars are supposed to go. And I look and there's some idiot just wandering around in the area where the cars drive. Like, it's really not that hard to understand. And some idiot was, and, a, and apparently somebody actually tried to walk up one of the tunnels. Not, I didn't see it, I just heard about it. So, um, but I think the practical implications of the Boring Company doing this tunnel system in Vegas, and then once you see once we as a world see how amazing the Boring Company tunnel system will be in Las Vegas, every city's going to, well, not anybody who's thinking is going to want one in their city. And I believe we're going to see it in Miami. I believe we're going to see it in Austin, Texas, uh, maybe Fort Lauderdale, Florida as well. Ultimately, I expect to see it in Orlando and Tampa. That would make a lot of sense. And once you see it in a lot of places that have a lot of tourists, um, Mitridate, you have to be vaccinated or have a negative COVID test within 72 hours. I was tested for COVID 48 hours ago, less than, well, well under 72 hours ago. I actually was tested twice, both negative. So um, I think the impact of the Boring Company tunnel system, once it's up and running at scale in Vegas, once it's up and running at scale in at least one other city and people start to see it and people start to realize how amazing this is, I think Boring Company scales like crazy. So, uh, sorry, I can't look back on the chat on this application, on this thing. Any word of Boring Company is building more machines. They, they, I believe they have a proof rock that they're testing. I think the big hurdle is going to be once they get another project or maybe for Vegas itself, I think they're going to need to build, I think they need to build a, build a machine that builds the machine for the tunnel boring machines. Um, I, people keep asking, I have a mask. It's a Palm Beach County official mask. Ready for anything. There's a target. There's a target store in this plaza. If I need to buy something, this place looks kind of cool. Famous dogs. Some uh, dog house. Dog house, over there. There's a Panda Express over here. Oh, why are people so obsessed with the shaving? Get over it. Just think of me as uh, think of it as Miami Vice. Um. Maybe the car should be set to honk annoyingly at jaywalkers. So, uh, you know, they have drivers. Am I going to be on Clubhouse tonight with Sawyer? I don't know about that. Um, ma masks are pretty unusual in Florida. You don't see a lot of masks in Florida anymore. They're not required inside, very unusual outside. Even, I'm, I'm, I live in South Florida. Masks are pretty much done. I mean, you can wear one if you want to, but it's pretty much no masks anywhere. The plaid event is uh, officially, the doors open at seven o'clock California time. The event is supposed to start at eight o'clock California time. I don't think they're gonna be taking questions. I'm not sure. That doesn't seem likely. It's not like a shareholder meeting. Musk Tash. So I'm Don, uh, what's the guy's name? From Miami Vice. Don, jo I'm Don Johnson from Miami Vice, only not as good looking. Oh, people obsessed with the shaving. Uh, I don't expect an update on 4680. No one's shaving guys in the clubs in Vegas. I don't know. I think I don't know where they're they're shaving down low or up high. So by plaid. Um, all right. Yeah. The, no, it's crazy. The the you can't eat indoors in a restaurant. I, I live in Florida. We've been eating inside in restaurants for I think I think almost the whole time. Will everyone wear plaid? And I'm not wearing plaid. I'm wearing my Tesla as the next Tesla t-shirt. Elon hat. I'm on an iPhone XR. Uh, just in Naples, Florida. Oh, Naples is Naples was more open than where I live. Uh, I I have an order for Cybertruck with FSD. Absolutely. Where are the cicadas? I haven't heard any cicadas. I, I literally don't understand why California is so locked down. And look at look at the less rest of the country. My I did not bring my I don't think they would let me bring my stainless water bottle on the plane with me. What happens if you're shaving in the boring company tunnel and your car breaks down? I love it. Is there a dress code for the event? I don't think so. 
Uh, pot shops are probably open. Pot shops are open in Florida too. Fifty dollars if you shout Warren. Wait, wait, I can't see that. What was that? Can I? Fifty dollars if you shout I'm Warren Redlick right now. I'm Warren Redlick. I'll take fifty dollars for that. Sure. Um, I will not be going live during the plaid show. I think I might go live again before the plaid event, like at five o'clock California time. I might do it. I'm not sure. Not loud enough. Nice try. Do I think Boring Company is more exposed to competition than most other companies? That's a good question. I don't think so. I think it's the same issue. I think that anybody could do what Tesla's doing if they just paid attention to what they're doing and tried and hired good engineers and put a lot of work in. I think what Boring Company is doing is harder than it looks. I think people underestimate the amount of innovation that they're doing at the Boring Company. So it makes sense. I mean, there is competition like anything else, but the competition is... If the competition is stuck on 28-foot diameter tunnels and, test, and Boring Company is doing 14-foot diameter tunnels, then they've already 4 x their costs. And then there's a lot of other things that Boring Company is doing that reduce the cost per mile, and I don't think a lot of other companies can compete with that. And they could, but they don't. How many people will be at the event? The number I heard was 400, but I don't know. And that's including staff. But I don't know. No plaid tuxedo, didn't think of that. I packed really light for this trip. When will all 12K Starlink satellites be up and running? I think Starship is going to start launching uh, Starlink satellites in volume later this year at 400 a pop. So by the end of 2022, if you figure they're going to do 100 launches, that would be 40. Yeah, 100 launches would be 40,000. So they don't need, you know, I think they'll have 12,000 by the end of 2022. But maybe 2023, maybe they can't make the satellites enough. I don't have a plus one, I just get me. Um, sorry, I can't, I can't, the chat box goes by too fast sometimes. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about shaving. <laughs> um, chance to chat, oh, if Steve Davis is at the event, I would bet Steve Davis will not be at the event, but if, if I got a chance to talk to Steve Davis, Steve Jurvetson will probably be there. If I get to talk to Steve Jurvetson, that would be huge. Very, very excited at the chance I might get to meet Jervy. Uh, why isn't the plaid actual plaid? I wouldn't be surprised if they have a plaid version. What do I think about the 10K increase? I think demand is off the charts for the Model S plaid. I think that prices will probably, well, plaid X will probably go up in price, but I think they're gonna, a lot of the pricing depends on should I wait for the EV credit? I don't know if the EV credit's going to happen, honestly. I think, why is it taking so long to get the EV credit through? Uh, I think if you were, if you were the, the, the people who have influence over Congress and the president, they would recognize that the EV credit just helps Tesla grow even more and helps, helps Tesla make more money. If you're wearing a mask, shaving doesn't matter. Good point. Um, so I have this theory in the back of my head that the people in power don't want to help Tesla and the tax credit would help Tesla more than it would help anybody else. Will I buy a Plaid? No, I'm not, I'm not a sports car guy anymore. When I was younger, I was a sports car guy. I, would, I had a Camaro. I had an Audi A4 Avant. I actually chipped it to get a little more horsepower out of it, which wasn't worth doing. Am I serious? Do I look serious? I don't know. Um, I... I don't know that the, the EV credit will happen. I think there's a lot of shit going on in Congress, and I think the, the powers that be probably looked at everything and figured out, wait a minute, if we pass this tax credit, then Tesla makes a crap load more money. And that just enables Tesla to build factories faster and, and kill the existing auto industry and the oil industry faster. So realistically, where do I see SpaceX, Tesla, Boring, and Neuralink being in your lifetime? In my lifetime? Oh, my God. Um, I don't think about singularity, but... I think that SpaceX will have a colony on Mars well along the way within 10 years. I think we're going to see boring company tunnel systems being built in cities all over the world. I think we will see intercity boring company tunnels. I think we're going to see 5 million Teslas produced in 2023. I think we're going to see 18 million Teslas produced in 2026. Uh, I think the thing about Biden not driving the F-150 Lightning is false. I think he really was driving it. I think that was a, a fake video. I think the F-150 Lightning is a good first, a good second step for Ford, but they got a long way to go. I think it's very, very heavy. Oh, at Vegas Loop, how do they transport people in electric wheelchairs? I'm not sure of the answer to that. What I heard was 
that the Model X's in the loop are handicap accessible. I believe because of the air suspension, it allows them to lower access to get in. And because of the, the gull wing doors, it probably makes it easier for the uh, disabled people to get into the cars. So that's what I heard was that the five Model X's are designed to be more handicap accessible. I don't know about, well, there, there is no EV credit yet, so we'll see. Maverick Hybrid? I didn't see the Maverick Hybrid. Did I see the Maverick Hybrid? I saw something about Maverick Hybrid. I don't know. So, let's see. Do I think ten, Tesla can reach 10 million production by 2030? I think Tesla will reach 18 million production by 2026. Why is Biden visiting Ford factories? Why is he not visiting Tesla factories? Um, I think the Democratic Party hates Elon. I think that, you know, it is widespread within the Democratic Party that they hate Elon. I didn't see wheelchair ramps, but, you know, there were staff there who probably could provide access. They may have had, they may have plans for how they deal with it. I just didn't see any of that happen. I didn't see anybody in wheelchairs. I mean, honestly, that's a tough event to go to. That's probably my biggest criticism, and I don't think this is a criticism of the Boring Company. I think it's a criticism of the design that was requested by the Convention Center Authority. The West Station is pretty far from the main convention room. It's a little surprising that they did that. Uh, no, I have a lot of friends who voted for Biden. I think people really did vote for Biden. I'm not a fan of him, but I think people really did vote for him. Uh, the cost savings. Thank you, John. Yellow Trump 2024 and don't get stuck in the tunnel. I, yellow Trump? What is yellow Trump? I don't know what yellow Trump is. The best union is no union. Would there be anything you would change about Tesla? Are they missing anything? I would like to see them make more progress on solar. Um, I am, I was, I'm still, I still have an order in for solar roof. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I think it's likely that I will end up having to cancel my solar roof order because they just weren't able to get it out fast enough. So I think there's a chance that I will, Trump is orange, bro, not yellow. I don't, I don't get that. So I think there's a chance that I will get uh, solar, uh, solar panels on my new roof next year and power walls. I really want, so I want Tesla solar. I want Tesla power walls very likely to buy that next spring next summer uh you know once we have our new roof i'll start shopping for that which should be this month we're supposed to get a new roof uh nicholas they they were not able to there's some delay in solar in florida because of the wind speed ratings and i thought they worked it out but apparently not the additional surprises one guess is roadster that the reason that they decided not to deliver Plaid Plus is because Roadster is going to be ready soon. Uh, I think there's a chance they might deliver a semi. If, if you look at Kilowatts on Twitter, he has a picture of a Tesla semi with a trailer on the site where the Plaid event is going to be. So one theory is that there's something in the trailer that is the surprise, like maybe the Roadster. I think another theory is they're actually going to deliver Tesla semi. They're going to start deliveries of Tesla Semi because we know that Frito-Lay, Pepsi, is installing mega chargers at a facility. So maybe they're ready to deliver Semi. Maybe it's coming. That would be cool. Maybe they're doing Semi and Roadster. I mean, there's an argument that made a lot of sense to me that Plaid Plus becomes a lot less of a halo car when the Roadster comes out. And if they didn't think they were going to deliver Plaid Plus until mid-2022 then, you know, why not just deliver Roadster instead? Is it true Tesla will build Semi in China? I haven't heard that yet. It makes a lot of sense to me that they would build Semi in China. Um, do you think we will get a Cybertruck update? I don't think so, no. I don't think they're going to talk about Cybertruck at this event, but you never know. John Boehner was orange, yes. Actually, the mayor of Albany, Jerry Jennings, I think it was. Was, was it? No, not Jerry Jennings. What was the guy's name? Maybe it was Jerry Jennings. People said he looked orange, like he did too much tanning salon. If FSD is a success, could they skip compact and go straight to RoboTaxi Pod? No, you can't do RoboTaxi Pod until there's no human drivers, dangerous human drivers on the road. I think Cybertruck will have, well, Cybertruck already had its own event, but maybe they'll have another. Roadster update would make sense. Single motor Cybertruck months ago without FSD, how can I add it now? I think you just go on the site and do it. Um, win a day with Elon, that would be cool. Get the Tesla solar shingles and they will put on your roof. No, it's not. I get solar panels, not solar shingles. If FSD is a success, could they skip compact and go straight to RoboTaxi Pod? 
No, that wouldn't work. Do I think Ford should have made a smaller electric car instead of Mach-E and F-150 because of limited battery supply? I think Ford should have made an F-150 Lightning with an eight-foot bed. I think their big mistake was a five, five and a half foot bed is, is a lot less practical for a lot of people. And an eight foot bed would have made a lot more sense. Charge more for it, make it a really good truck. Make it something that the Cybertruck can't compete with. If you gave it an eight foot bed, then it would be great. While in training to be a lawyer, is that how you learn to talk underwater? Do I sound like I'm underwater? What do I think of the rumor that Elon will announce Tesla will accept Doge tonight? I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think that's going to happen. What question will you ask? Oh, I should think about that. What question will you ask if you, Elon, if you get the opportunity tonight? That is a great question. That is, I really need to think about that. If I had five minutes with Elon to ask him a question, what would I ask him? Honestly, I would probably ask him about Boring Company rather than Tesla, but I don't know if that's appropriate at a Tesla event. Um, I'm more, I'm very excited about Tesla, but I'm actually... You know, my number my number one things are, are SpaceX and, and uh, Neuralink. And then for me, Boring Company and Tesla are tied. But people ask so much more about Tesla. And I'm actually, I think there's not enough asked about Boring Company. Like I might ask, what about Boring Company going to a city and funding its own tunnel system and owning it outright rather than having the city pay them to build a tunnel system? That's something I would ask. But I don't know if that's the right question to ask. No, I'm not going to ask him about delays on deadlines. Can I intern at Boring Company? Uh, I don't think I'm a good employee. I don't have a history of being a good employee, so I don't think that's going to happen. I, I, you know, I, I, I would bust my gut, bust my ass to do the right things for Tesla if I got, or for Elon's companies if I got hired. But I don't have a, a track record of being a great employee. People who run their own companies, I think, end up being crappy employees because we just want to do things our way. What was that question? What is the best interview ever conducted with Elon about Boring Company? I don't know if I've seen a good interview with Elon about the Boring Company. I don't know if he gets interviewed about the Boring Company. People don't ask about the Boring. People aren't excited about the Boring Company. You got me and Will from the Boring Revolution. We're like the only people in the world that are excited about the Boring Company. What have I heard of the No Union Union? Robo Taxi might be a good idea. For, um, Cybertruck will have a bigger bed of the back seats fold down. Yeah. It would be nice if they could do something like the Chevy Avalanche with the Cybertruck. I don't think they'll reveal the $25,000 compact car tonight, but one of the two vehicles that's got in a under fabric or whatever looks like it could be it. If Elon asks for your hat, would you give it to him? Of course I would. I'd give him the shirt. Fuck, I'd give him, I'd give him the shirt if he asked for it. Um, actually, I have in my backpack the... Uh, what's outside the simulation shirt. Maybe I would give him that. Um, you couldn't be a promoter for Elon's companies. I could be a promoter for you. The best Warren intern is no Warren intern. What is the earliest ETA for Tesla compact car? 2023. Boring company is a game changer. Boring company is huge. I wish people understood how big the boring company is going to be. Boring company is going to be absolutely batshit crazy insane. I'm not going to live stream the event. I might live stream before. Don't take off your shirt. Warren. Yeah, it wouldn't be pretty. It would not be pretty if I took off my shirt. When am I interviewing Elon? I don't think that's going to happen. I would love it to happen. Uh, Elon, this is an open invite. Come on my channel. I would love to talk to you. German girls there with you. They can give their shirts to Elon. I like that thinking. I like that thinking. No German girls here. Um... What was that question? What would make me sell Tesla shares? Um, I don't expect to sell my shares until 2030 or later, but I have a theory that in 2026, if Tesla's selling 18 million cars a year, if the robo taxi network is up and running, that at some point the media and Wall Street will swing the other way and they will overprice Tesla stock. I think there's a, there's a serious chance that could happen, that uh, right now, there's you know media FUD and a Wall Street bias against Tesla stock. And you get to 2026 when I think if everything goes the way I expect it to go, Tesla could be worth $20,000 a share. If Wall Street and media overreact and Tesla goes to 40000 a share when I think it's worth $20,000 a share, I might sell half my stock at that point. I would sell some Tesla to buy Boring, but more likely I would sell something else to buy Boring. Um, 
Will boring be used for mining? I don't believe that boring machines are useful for mining. Mining is different than that. It's, it's a misunderstanding of how mining works. Does boring fall under Tesla's equity? No. Has my insane evaluation model been challenged credibly yet? Well, I mean, there's legitimate challenges to my valuation model for sure, but I don't, I think the people who challenge my valuation model, um, when do I think boring company would IPO? Uh, so there are legitimate criticisms of my valuation model, but ultimately anybody who challenges my valuation model, they just have to come up with the, you know, they generally don't answer the question, how many batteries do I, do they think Tesla will make? Um, sorry, I'm trying to keep up with the chat here. How about a pill that prevents facial hair growth? <laughs> Elon said he has Asperger's, SMR, SMR and DR, know-it-all said they also have it. I think that, I don't think I'm on the spectrum, but I don't know. I, you know, I think we all have, <laughs> I think to some extent we're all on the spectrum, but I don't really see myself as someone who would be considered on the spectrum. I value the shares currently around $2,500 to $500 a share. I'm in I'm in Fremont, California right now. I'm at the Pacific Commons Plaza in Fremont, California. This is uh, this is where I had breakfast. Great place to eat. It's uh, well, I ate outside. Can't eat inside. Osaka Giga Factory. Oh, that would be a. <laughs> but see, I don't want to ask Elon a question that he's tired of hearing. I want to ask him a question he hasn't heard. I think the big question I would ask him is, what about the prospect of the Boring Company doing a funding round? to build, you know, offer to approaching cities, offering to build a tunnel system for them that the boring company would own. And I got to figure out how to ask this question in a short manner, rather than being paid by a city to build a boring company tunnel system for the city. How about saying we'll build it for you on our money and we'll pay the city a percentage of revenue. So to, boring company builds a tunnel system, does a funding round, raises half a billion dollars, hand is shaky does a funding round builds a, a tunnel system for half a billion dollars um offers the rides as appropriate and charges fares and pays the city 10 percent. you know would that be a good model for the boring company i think that's a question that nobody's asked them. i haven't seen any hint of boring company talking about that i think it'll be a really good move will they bore the bearing Strait? i don't think the bearing Strait is a good question to ask him yet i think it's too early for that one why is he dressed like he's a 17 year old from the 90s? You talking about me or Elon? I'm gonna stream before the event, maybe not. I might stream before the event, I might not. I'm not gonna stream during the event. Unless there's a, unless I, I, don't, I can't say I won't, but I don't think so. What would be the biggest revenue for Boring Company? Um, I believe the plan is to charge for the rides and also eventually to let vehicles from outside go through and charge tolls. And then, you know, if Boring Company builds their own system, maybe they build stations that have shopping in them and they get lease, leases from the vent, vendors who are using that. When am I going to set up in the UK? G7 for ways to stop gasoline sales. Um, what? Please try to look in, break, book interesting people for interviews. I try to book interesting people for interviews. I try, I've tried to book Sandy Monroe. Ah, what happened? What happened? Oh. When do I think Berlin will fully open? Berlin, the Gigafactory? I think Gigafactory starts producing before the end of the year. Um, has to be electric only vehicles in the Boring Company tunnels. Has to be electric self-driving vehicles only in the tunnels. Congrats, Celsius. Um, Gordon Johnson, yeah. What do I think about Tesla's potential in restaurants at supercharger stations? Let's talk about that for a second. So Tesla owns a bunch of superchargers in a whole bunch of places. I think to some extent, some of the superchargers are in Tesla owned or Tesla leased properties. It makes a lot of sense for Tesla to build facilities. Like if you think about most gas stations have convenience stores and they might make more money on the convenience store than they make on the gasoline. So it would make sense for Tesla to open restaurants and convenience stores where they have supercharger stations and make money on that. I don't think they're going to make that much money on the electricity. I've driven through Oregon, but I never really stayed. I didn't spend any time in Oregon. Um, boring tunnel would be nice in Buffalo. Nice anywhere. Is Elon's brother going to head the restaurants? I don't think so. Can we get lunch if you're ever in the Pensacola area? I don't expect to be... In I'm going to be driving through Tallahassee soon, but I don't expect to hit Pensacola and I won't be stopping. How high do I see Tesla stock till the end of the year? I don't predict short-term stock price movements. Do I agree with stock split rumor? No, Bar boring tunnel from Austin to spaceport. I don't think it makes sense to do a boring tunnel from Austin to the spaceport because I think it's easy to do that on the road. 
and that would cost a lot less money. I don't think there's a huge amount of traffic between San Antonio, Slay, and, um, and Boca Chica. I think the roads probably aren't that jammed. What do I think the odds Tesla released V11 software starting tonight? I don't pay that much attention to V11, but I think there's a good chance of it. Is there a Tesla event today? Yes. Thoughts on Tesla insurance? I've said this before. I think Tesla insurance will be important in the short run and unimportant in the long run. Once robo-taxis are up and running, the Tesla insurance starts to become relevant. Do I think Tesla should partner with multiple restaurants for their super... I think they could lease space to... Like, you could imagine if you had a Tesla supercharger station, you could lease space to multiple restaurants, restaurant chains or others, so that, you know, you're waiting 30 minutes for your vehicle to be charged, you pop in, or 20 minutes, let's say, you pop in and grab a burger and a Coke. Secondary income stream from boring companies selling the material that comes from the tunneling process. I don't think that's that's material from the tunneling process is, is marketable. Would a city city worry about having a boring facility where it's vulnerable to flooding? Venice, London, Amsterdam said, I believe that the Netherlands has lots of tunnels and, tu and flood. I think there's a, mis a mis uh, mistake when people think that, that tunnels are going to flood. They're not going to flood. That's not a serious risk. Um, what do you mean friends with Biden? What's wrong with being friends with the Biden supporters? I have friends who support all kinds of things. What's wrong with you if you don't have friends who are Biden supporters? There's lots of good people who are Biden supporters. Just because they, you don't agree with them politically doesn't mean they're not good people. Grow up. Utah Tesla profits about 25 cents per kilowatt hour because they only pay three cents at the meter. That's interesting. I mean, I don't know. I just don't think that's the big revenue. Will EVs always be a niche product? No, EVs will be the mass market product soon. Timeline on a SpaceX IPO, I don't know. Starlink IPO in a couple years. Are you coming to Sweden? No, I don't think Europe has opened up to Americans coming in. Do I think the first two cyber trucks will appreciate? Yes. Like what you're doing from Tampa. You're good for a lawyer. I'm an engineer. I'd rather be, I, I regret not, sometimes I regret not becoming an engineer. That was the path I was on and I didn't follow it and I kind of regret it. Tunnels go under rivers. Yes, tunnels, <laughs> it's like, I don't understand why people think they're gonna flood. Do you not realize we have tunnels all over the world that the water table in a lot of places is four feet and the tunnels are below that all over the world? Don't panic about tunnels flooding. Uh, let's see. Is Kimball key to the restaurant business? I don't think so. Japan. I lived in Japan. The tunnels don't flood. What are you talking about? That's nonsense. Is Tesla phone only a rumor? I, I haven't even heard that rumor. It's such a... Imagine unfriending someone because of their political views. Tesla seems to make more of a difference than all the politicians. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Sorry. It's hard to keep up with this chat, but thank you all for participating. I don't think about splits. Am I getting a plaid model? No. All right. So let's see. I think we've covered everything. So let me just summarize where we are, what's going on for those who, who joined l later. Um, my name's Warren Redlick. I am a Tesla nut, Tesla and Elon fan, Elon fanboy, wearing my Tesla's the next Tesla t-shirt. You can get it on elonbits.com. The hat is not for sale. Um, I am at the Pacific Commons Plaza. I just had breakfast from this beautiful Taiwanese bakery cafe. Um, and I got the news this morning, sorry, I got the news this morning that I was invited to the Plaid event, uh, the Plaid delivery event, really excited to go. Um, my podcast, I did not spend that, but, oh, that's really quick. It did not cost me that much money for this trip. I paid $70 for my flight to Vegas. I spent a hundred bucks, I think, on two nights in a hotel in Vegas. Spent some money on restaurants, but I would do that at home anyway. Maybe I spent a little more in the sushi place yesterday. Um, I spent $30 flying here. I'm spending $250 flying home. And I'm probably not even going to get a hotel tonight. I'm probably going to just stay out and party all night and then go to the airport and sleep on the plane back. So um, could I make a video on what Tesla might showcase on their AI day? I think we've already made videos like that. Not specifically that, but... So uh, I got invited to Tesla Plaid event. Uh, I don't know what time it is anymore, but um, there's a group of people getting together in this plaza. There's a supercharger station somewhere in here. There's a group of people getting together in this plaza around 2 p.m. California time, which is probably two hours from now. And I will... Um, please don't make political comments like that. This is not a... 
a live stream where we should be talking about Democrats or Republicans or Biden or Trump or I don't know why people are getting into that. This is an exciting day to talk about Tesla and EVs and the Boring Company because I just went to Boring Vegas. Um, so I was I flew up here expecting not to get in. I uh, had plans to meet up with a bunch of people who I've talked to on Clubhouse or interacted with on Twitter and now I get to meet them in person. I was really excited about that. I'm still really excited about that. Once the event is over, I figured people would be getting together somewhere. I'm going to hang out with people after. I would not be, I'm, I, I'm guessing I'm going to be up until four in the morning, you know, at bars or wherever or outside bars or maybe I should buy some liquor or something, <laughs> buy, buy like a couple of 12 packs or something because I'm guessing the bars are closed too. So I don't know where we're getting together, but hopefully people will get together and hang out together for hours. And then, um, you know, at some point I'll take a Uber or Lyft to the airport and fly home. Um, will Tesla rob taxi work like Uber? I think, te I think Tesla robo taxi and boring company are going to destroy destroy Uber, Lyft, taxis, all kinds of mass transit are gonna be destroyed. Robo taxis and the boring tunnel system are gonna radically remake transportation for the better, for consumers and everything. Yeah, the bars don't close in Vegas, that's true. Maybe we'll have to fly to Vegas, but I'm flying out of San Jose after. I think the lettering, I think the lettering on the hat is too, is too big. I think this, this is too big. It, it, you know, when you put it on the head, I don't know. I think that's too big. I think I need to make it smaller. Interview Jay Leno. Yeah, I'm gonna, I got a, I got a really good chance of getting Jay Leno to interview with me. Sure. Uh, with Robo Taxi, who will maintain the vehicles? Why, why have people come up with all kinds of problems? Look, you're going to have supercharger stations. The vehicles pulled into charge, so it's never too big, Warren. The uh, people are going to be charged. Somebody's going to be plugging them in and they'll walk around and they'll make sure the vehicles are clean and if they're not clean they'll send them off to be cleaned this is not a big deal the economies of scale it'll make it'll it'll work great how do you stop people vandalizing the car with robo taxi how do you stop people from vandalizing a car that has a driver we, we people come up with all kinds of panics don't lower your own bar what it will show the updated cyber truck design i don't that's that doesn't that's not a crazy thought that's not a crazy thought that they would at least show the updated robo taxi. Fold the hat lip one. That's a 10 gallon hat. This is not a 10 gallon. I do. I had used to have a 10 gallon hat. My grandfather had one. I got. I inherited it. Will I still pretend to be Ross Gerber? Yes. Yes, I will still pretend. Wow, man. People get. Why are people so obsessed with a clean shaven face? Is that a Rivian behind you? Do I wear sunscreen or am I sunscreen anarchist? Uh, I don't generally wear sunscreen. I try to find shade. Um, I think there will be an infotainment demo, definitely. When will stock go up? I just don't worry about temp short-term stock prices. Uh, I think that by the end of the year, if Tesla delivers, we might hit a million vehicles delivered this year. Thank you, Andy. What was that? Am I open to meet Gerber? Gerber will not be here. I would love to meet Ross Gerber. I think he's a great guy. Turn my baseball cap, what? Backwards? Upwards? Oh, like this? I don't know if it'll do that. I don't think I can get it to do that. I can't get it to stay. <laughs> I do hair, tra I'm not doing a hair transplant. My grandfather went, I have my grandfather's hairline. And uh, my grandfather was a great man. He wasn't a famous man. He wasn't, but he was just a great, he was just a good man. So my grandfather was a great role model and I'm perfectly happy to have hair like my grandfather. It means, it means I have a lot of testosterone, which means I'm a, I'm a true lover. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna buy a plaid ass. Regulations SEC would impose on Bitcoin. I don't know. I don't, I don't think SEC can regulate Bitcoin. Roadster updates, definitely a possibility. I don't need an executive suite. You don't have to chip in. <laughs> if I need to get a, a, a room for the night, I can afford a room for the night. It's not a big deal. Um, when will Tesla be the most valuable company in the world? 2023, 2024, if, anybody, if anybody's thinking. 
Uh, I don't think that there's a huge problem with raw materials for batteries. I think that problem is exaggerated. Need to tighten the cap? What do you mean? This fits really well. Will private owners be able to plug into the robo-taxi network? I think so, yes. Uh, yeah, I did hear that they got... Sawyer Merritt said that they're going to be releasing a new video game, so that'll be interesting. 2025 is a game. I think it's 2023 when ga and game over. I think, you know, 2023, I think they sell 5 million cars. I would love to interview Stephen Mark Ryan, but I always wonder about that. People want me to interview Stephen Mark Ryan. He could interview me too, but we agree on everything. What are we supposed to talk about? <laughs> yes, I think Elon will be a trillionaire. Um, the competition is coming. Test the glass. It would be interesting to hear more about the glass, yeah. I just don't think there's a raw materials. But there's, there's supply chain problems. I don't think there's particularly... Um, I don't think it's particularly raw materials problems. Uh, fundamentals of Tesla's business catch up with a share price. I think 2024, 2025. I did not buy Tesla tequila for some reason. I don't know why. I should have bought it. I regret. I really regret not buying the boring company Flamethrower. That was a big mistake. I think I'm about five miles from the Fremont factory, but I'm not sure. It might be closer. Were there a lot of Teslas in Vegas? Um, there were, wow, there were so many Teslas in the tunnels. I did feel like I saw a lot of Teslas in Vegas, but I'm not sure. Surprised I'm not seeing as many Teslas in Fremont as I expected. I think I see more Teslas in, um, in Boca Raton. The event is at 7 p.m. for people to get inside, and 8 p.m. is when, the, I, I'm told 8 p.m. is when the event really starts. It's an iPhone XR, and I'm actually plugged into a, uh, I'm plugged into a backup battery right now. So, um, I, we might get a tour of the Fremont factory. I suppose that's possible. Oh, an ATV under the cover. That's not crazy. I think that's Kilowatt's picture. Let's see. Would you consider moving to Starbase? No, I'm, I'm not moving out of Florida anytime soon. Uh, Tesla and Apple should collaborate more. No. Hi, Isaac. Where do I see Tesla stock price by the end? Don't make short-term stock price predictions. F-150 is too heavy. Um, oh, somebody, let me address this question. What happened when you shut down yesterday? So yesterday I was at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I experienced the boring tunnels. I filmed a lot. I took a lot of pictures. At one point I was live streaming and somebody told me to stop after I'd gone about 10 minutes, so I stopped. It was not nearly as dramatic as it probably looked to other people. I just did what I was told. Hi, Andre. When do I think Tesla energy with solar will start to greatly reduce in cost? I'm gonna, is that Jeremy Judkins? Uh, I would say, that's probably not Jeremy. Uh, I'm gonna say two years, two years before it really comes down in cost. Yeah, Elon is standing behind me. How many Tesla gigafactories will be fully operational at the end of the year? Four. Well, four if you include Fremont. Will I live stream tonight? Probably not, maybe. I don't think it's a good idea for me to live stream tonight. I don't know. Um, I stayed at the uh, Excalibur Casino, which I was not that impressed with. It was cheap, though. Will California water shortage affect Fremont production? No. What's the best news we could get at the event tonight? I think if we got a firm number on likely Model S deliveries by the end of the year, let's say. So let's say they tell us we expect to deliver 50,000 Model S's by the end of the year. That would be amazing. What was this? For a retired lawyer, Warren, you are living like a college kid. Flight to Vegas, then Cali, no hotel, stay up all night, love it. Uh, I used to, I pull all-nighters when I go to New York City a lot. Um, let's see. Ford missed a design opportunity. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to keep up. 4680 backup battery. That That's actually a good idea. I like that. 4680 backup battery. Uh, you know, it's like something to carry for your phone. That's a pretty cool idea. I don't know if it would work technically, but I like the idea. Why is there no rainwater drainage to Giga Texas? No idea. I don't know if it rains a lot there. Well, I try to get FSD from other attendees. No. Um, so Omic context is for Tesla to have 40% of car market, it would have to be the Apple of cars. No, Tesla is going to have 80% of the car market. Ha <laughs> ha. What do you do with that? There isn't going. Tesla is going to destroy the entire car market. Robo taxis are going to end the market for cars. It's going to be like the market for horses. 
uh, drone photography trips. Um, no, Tesla's going to have 10 tower hours. I don't know when. I haven't thought much about Polestar. Yes, yes, I had to wear a mask on the plane. I had to wear a mask to the event. Let's see. Wristbands with W. What would Elon do? That's not bad. Uh, bump into any fan subscribers on this trip. I ran into a guy uh, who was actually worked for the Boring Company who said he watches every video when I was at Ve in Vegas. Oh, this chat is going fast. When do I think FSD will truly go live for RoboTaxi? So I think that we are going to see functioning, working FSD by the end of this year. That version 9 will be good enough that after a few months of it being in beta, a couple months of it being in beta, it will be released in a wider release, and then it will go live. It will go fully live by the end of the year. And then I think... Um, Am I a Jewish Republican? I'm not a Republican. Not much of a Jew either. So I So I think FSD goes wide release close to the end of this year. I think the RoboTaxi Network goes live sometime next year. Let's see. I don't think full self-driving is subscription only, but I don't know. Thunderfoot is a meme. Yeah, I guess so. I don't think, oh, Apple partnering with CATL and or BYD, I don't think it matters. I don't know why people focus so much on Apple. Apple, I do not see Apple as a serious comp uh, contender for that. I did a video, a short video yesterday or day before. Within the last few days, I did a short video about Jerome Guillen, leave, Jerome Guillen leaving Tesla. Best wishes to him. Did you manage to annoy Thunderfoot? I think Thunderfoot was amused by me rather than annoyed. Um... Self-driving horses, that's right, we need self-driving horses. Power grids need massive updates before EVs can go mainstream. I don't think that's true. I think EVs will charge when there's not a lot of demand on the grid. We, we need a lot more generation. We don't need a, uh, it's not the grid, it's the energy generation. We're gonna need a lot more electricity. Who do I hope to run into on my visit? K10, Omar Kazi, Nick, uh, a lot of people. Talk to a lot of people. and. Twitter and taunts of thoughts on Tesla hiring full-time FSD test drivers. I applied for the job. I applied to do that in Miami. Didn't get it. When will I get Sawyer on a video? I haven't thought about that. Would Sawyer be a good interview? I don't know. I gotta keep, I gotta pay attention to where the camera screen. Apple has never made a car. Yeah. I don't know why people talk about that. Oh, do I think Tesla will share autopilot with other manufacturers? No. Uh, what will full self-driving cost in 2030? $200,000. Who do I hope to run? I already answered that. All right, let's see. I think, I think I've gone long enough. I feel like I've run out of material. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I guess I'm tired. I'm going to take a break. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, please support this channel on Patreon. Links in the description below. Check out the t-shirts. Tesla's the next Tesla. Um, all kinds of t-shirts at elonbits.com and uh i hope i might live stream again later today thank you everyone for watching really good talking to you all here see, seeing so many people i like um and uh let's have some fun tonight get excited about plaid we're going to plaid we're going to plaid i'm going to plaid yay bye